is our first episode of Science with Sam and Stacy. We really miss having you in the library with us. But we're excited to bring you some fun science experiments and cool projects for you to do at home. Hopefully, you'll have most of the supplies with you so you can follow along. But you can always think of really creative substitutes, too. Today, we're learning about sharks. This is my favorite book about sharks. It's called Shark Lady, the true story of how Eugenie Clark became the ocean's most fearless scientist. In this book, you'll learn a lot about sharks and about Eugenie. Even though the library is closed, you can access it through Hoopla. I'll leave the link in the description of the video. So Stacy has prepared a special experiment with her family, and we'll watch it now together. Hi! Today we're going to do an experiment and find out how sharks float. <laughs> so it turns out in sharks, in order for them to stay level in the water and not sink to the bottom, uh, they actually have, their liver is filled with oil, which is really similar to cooking oil. So we're going to see if we can make our own sharks float using oil. So what we're going to do, we've got some household goods here. We've got, well, I've got canola oil. This is our crafting oil. We do not cook with this. We just use it for crafts and activities. We have our aquarium, which is just water with a little bit of food coloring in it to make it look cool. I didn't have blue, so we're using green, because why not? We're using what we've got here today. We've got some clear packing tape to hold our shark together. We have made some drawings of sharks. Some coins to use as weights. In the experiment that I've read, we're supposed to use pennies. I don't have pennies. I have dimes and I have nickels. Um, Brett, what did you find out about dimes and nickels? That, that nickels are heavier than dimes. Yeah, so I'm not sure if the experiment's going to work or not work, but let's find out. Maybe one of our sharks will sink and maybe one of them will float. We don't know yet. We also have balloons that we have filled with the oil. Um, We'll show you how we did that as well. And a glue stick just in case we need help sticking. We have not tried this before. This is all new. Um, this is really happening in front of you. So I hope you can join us and try it at home. So we're gonna have to fill a balloon with vegetable oil. So I have a cookie tray here um, because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna spill. I have a funnel, which is not a kitchen funnel, it's, it's like a garage funnel, but we're using what we have available to us. So, put the balloon on the end of the funnel. What do you think? Okay. Does it need some filling? We're slowly pouring. Uh, I've never done this before, but I did read that if I, oh, if I overfill it, like I just did, uh, it's going to be really hard to tie the balloon. So, uh, if this is what we use for crafting. We don't eat this oil, so we don't cook with it. I'm just going to pour a little back in. A little more back in. Okay, I'm going to try to tie off this balloon, and then we're going to do it again, because we're going to try to make two different sharks. Balloon. So, oh, it feels really greasy in there. Oh! Sorry. <laughs> There's a little bit of splashing. <laughs> Don't sit in the splash zone, kids. Oh, it's...
first. We're going to take our sharks and we are going to tape them to our toilet paper rolls. Okay. Okay. So get a good spot. And you want to try to cover your entire paper towel or your entire toilet paper roll with tape eventually. So use lots of tape. But I dropped my shot. And now let's glue. We'll use the glue stick just to keep our coins in place until we can tape them on. On the bottom of your roll, it's gonna borrow yours, Brett. So right here, you're gonna put the three coins lined up on the bottom of your toilet paper roll so that your shark sinks that way. So let's give it a try. Here, I'll hold that. Glue them on there, Mace. Oh, okay, glue's not working. Scrap the glue. Let's put them onto a piece of tape. Put them all on the one. There, stick them on here. My fingers are sticky. <laughs> there, that'll work. So, that works better. Stick them to a piece of tape. Yeah. Can you flip your towel over? And wait. Stick them to the bottom of our toilet paper too. What about me? Ooh, pennies are smaller. They may work better. Let's try it with dimes. These nickels are awkward. Okay, let's do the same thing over here. Just give me all your one, please. Of course, if anyone in your family is feeling sick, no. do not be this close to them unless you're confident that everybody is well and healthy and don't use your teeth to cut the tape. Use scissors. Can you help? No. Why do you need to wrap it in tape? The reason we have to wrap it in tape, Mason just asked, is yeah. because we don't want it to get too soggy. Which is my concern, is that a paper Sorry, toilet paper I roll... Sorry, give them a bath. <laughs> Sorry, I hope you guys are having as much fun during this quarantine as Mine's we are. Mine's wrinkly. because we're going to do an experiment first without the balloon and then we'll do it again with the balloon. So if everybody's got your sharks with their weights on them, we need the aquarium now. Down. Aquarium? We've got the aquarium. Can I drop it in? I don't know. I want to. Okay, put them in like sideways and let's see what happens. Go for it, Mason. Oh. Float or sink? It sinks. Oh, he sank quickly. And Brett's? Oh, okay. <laughs> His is the dimes. It's a, oh, taking a little longer, but he definitely sank. So they got really okay. soggy really fast. So I feel like we kind of have to work quickly. We're going to try to stuff one of the balloons into them without ripping them. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's not right. Okay. Wet. See if you can get the balloon yeah. inside gently. Not definitely. Okay, so it looks like the idea of putting the tight end in first was better. Um, <laughs> and gentle squishing of your ball of oil. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. Mason's put his reached in and grabbing it from the other side. They are very soggy. Yeah. <laughs> it's in. Okay, one's in. Can we get this one in? No. I mean. Some of it is in. Okay, well, again, yeah. if most of it's in, we're probably okay. They are very yeah. soggy. Gently, gently. Oh, the, there we go. Okay. It's in there. <laughs> okay, uh, these are so much smushier than I imagined. Now, do they feel lighter or heavier than they did before? I don't know. I wasn't feeling it. No. Well, it's way heavier. <laughs> it's way heavier. Fact. It's heavy. Okay, drop them in there. Oh, oh my geez. god. Oh my god. 
Oh, One is floating. The dimes are floating. Now, will the nickels float or sink? Float. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so dimes were perfect. See, he kind of goes down but goes back up. Turns out the, yeah, the nickels like are too heavy. Like this. Put it in there again. It just falls. Okay, so My hands cold. <laughs> I want you at home, if you've got pennies, Try it with pennies like you're supposed to do, and tell me if it works. Yeah, like dip in. Our experiment made nickels sink, dimes float. I'm on hear this. <laughs> and they make gross, weird noises while you do it. So I hope you're having fun at home, and we'll see you next time for another wonderful science experiment. Bye! Say bye, guys! Baby Chucky D. <laughs>